Hello and uh, welcome to the Boston Cardiac Channel. So this is another edition of our uh, echo quiz in which uh, we will show you a single clip based on a clinical condition with a small and a short hist history statement and you expect it to make a diagnosis in about 30 seconds or so. We'll give you a hint or two and then we'll explain what the diagnosis is and then go over the clinical significance and a little bit of an education about this, uh, about this uh, uh, presentation and clinical case. So here we go, let's uh, get started with the clinical case. So this is essentially a 65-year-old male for mitral valve repair. The intraoperative metasophageal four-chamber view with color flow Doppler shows the following. You have a metasophageal four-chamber view on the left side and a zoomed up view of the left of the mitral valve uh, with uh, color flow Doppler uh, zoomed up over here, the color flow box appropriately placed. What is the diagnosis? Take a good look at it. Let's give you a hint. So take a look at a similar case and a similar situation. What would be the diagnosis and what this is referred to as? Another five seconds and we'll give you the diagnosis. And the diagnosis is crossed sword sign, which means that there are two divergent mitral regurgitation jets, uh, one uh, that is going in the anterior direction, in this direction, uh, sorry, posterior direction, and another jet, this is going in the anterior direction. Now, what's its clinical significance? What it implies is that there's a bi-leaflet problem, which means that there are, you know, problems with both the leaflets. And this is, uh, was described by Robert Levine from a Massachusetts General Hospital in 1987, uh, which refers to this sign as the crossword sign. Now, what's clinical significance is, we'll get to that in just about a second. I'll show you a few more examples. For example, in this specific case, there are two regurgitant jets. Now, the key point is that two regurgitant jets going in the opposite direction implies that there are two effective regurgitant orifice areas, which means there's a problem somewhere with the posterior mitral leaflet, which is leading to an anteriorly directed jet, and a problem with the anterior leaflet, which is leading to a posteriorly directed jet. Now, it could be, both could be off in the same axis or in the same plane, but you may have to uh, look at a two different, uh, you know, axial planes to diagnose this uh, mitral regurgitation with divergent mitral regurgitation jets. Another situation, as you can see that, this is a flail posterior mitral leaflet. This is again a P1 flail, and there's a A1 problem at the same time, leading to two regurgitation jets that are headed in the, uh, in the opposite direction. Now the key part here is that if they're not in the axial plane, you may have to actually do three-dimensional echocardiography to, act to accurately and correctly diagnose the, the, the having two effective regurgitant orifice areas, and sometimes it's easy to miss one of the jets, you know. Like for example, in this specific case, this is a P2 flail leading to a jet going in this direction, which would be anterior, and an A3 flail, which would be jet headed in the opposite direction. Now, if you were looking at an axial plane going through A2, you wouldn't be looking at the, A, the, the, the A2P2. You wouldn't be looking at the jet at the, at the uh, postromedial commissure. So a three-dimensional echocardiography in this specific plane demonstrates one jet going anteriorly and one jet coming off A3, which is headed posteriorly. Now, another situation, the same one, as you can see, a P1 flail, uh, sorry, a, an A1 flail in this direction and a P3 flail in this direction, which is again leading to two jets headed in the opposite direction. Now, the clinical significance of this situation is that it essentially implies that there are two effective regurgitant orifice areas, so the MR severity is cumulative, which means if there are two mild severity jets, which could be cumulatively make them uh, moderate or severe mitral regurgitation. Secondly, that it is a bileaflet problem, which means uh, this is uh, sometimes an indication for a complex repair or either an indication for replacement of the mitral valve because these are sometimes almost impossible to repair valves. So at the end of the day, two EROAs, 
with cumulative severity of mitral regurgitation, implying bilateral disease, either a complex repair or a replacement of the mitral valve. And this is referred to as a crossed sword sign implying two leaflet problems. Thank you very much and enjoy.